let me introduce myself. I'm Duncan. Now, the car I'm going to introduce you to today actually needs no introduction, but I'm going to anyway. Because in over 40 years that we've had the car in this country, it has been a long-term favourite of people looking for a stylish and a fun-to-drive hatchback. Oh, hang on, wait, 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 we're not done there. So since the 2004 version was launched, over 9 million have been bought in 169 different countries. That is a serious amount of happy people. Of course, this car is the Suzuki Swift, and I'm delighted to show you the latest generation. As you can see, with this generation, the Swift has evolved into a sophisticated, smart, compact vehicle with a crisp design, advanced safety features and fun-to-drive playfulness, which we believe makes everyday mobility a pleasure, both in the city and out on the open road. It cleverly blends those unique features that are recognisably Swift with modern design details. dynamic and distinctive look which is enhanced by the wide range of 12 colour options that we've got. This includes four dual tone choices. Yet inside I can sit four full size adults in comfort. Is everybody comfortable? What's more, you can even fit a fifth person in. Oh, and while I'm thinking about the five of us, just look at the storage we have. I mean, there's even a drinks holder for everyone. So small on the outside, practical and spacious on the inside, accomplished. What's more, the interior cabin is oriented around enhancing driver experience. To start, there's a premium dual tone color scheme with wraparound styling, textured trims, and a floating midsection, emphasizing the spacious feeling of the car and adding a high quality finish. Then just look at the high levels of technology I have. In front of me, I've got this chunky three-spoke sports steering wheel with a flat bottom. Yep, I can see myself whipping down the country roads in this, just as I can see myself maneuvering into tight urban spaces. Through the steering wheel, I can see the clear, easy to read dials with just a touch of digital input in the middle, allowing me to tailor the Swift's safety functions, in particular, to my needs. And there's a huge amount of safety assistance built into this car, designed to ensure you and your passengers can always travel with peace of mind. Just look at the active safety systems listed here. Yet these are just some examples of the safety levels built into the car. Oh, and I know what you're thinking, that I'm just talking about the top spec model. Well, that's where you're wrong. All of this technology is available across the range. So you can see we are not short on technology just from the safety technology listed. In addition, we have this huge nine inch touchscreen positioned at the top of the dash and it's angled carefully towards me to make it easy to read quickly without diverting my attention from the road. This pin sharp display shows me all I need to know about my car. My entertainment 
and by communications. Wirelessly connected via either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, it allows the screen to replicate my phone, enabling me to use my favorite apps. The system is capable of so much more though. I mean, just look at the clarity of the rear view when I pop the car into reverse. Combined with an extra wide angle, high mounted rear view camera, rear visibility is exceptional. And this is especially important when kids are scootering behind you when you're reversing. It also includes Suzuki Connect. What's this I hear you ask? Well, that's the system that allows your car to communicate with your phone. It enables you to know remotely when warning messages come up, or even if you leave the car unlocked. In fact, you can lock it remotely in these kind of instances. Now, that really is peace of mind on a cold, dark night. The, the lights have gone out. Hell. The thing with technology, though, is that you can go too far sometimes. What we do at Suzuki, though, is question whether you need it and what you need it for before we apply it. It's for this reason that our climate controls are actual physical controls, making it even easier for me to find and operate while driving. That's just the technology in the cabin. What about what goes on under the bonnet? With the rising cost of living, we all want a frugal car to buy and to run. Now for this reason, the Swift has a brand new 1.2 litre petrol engine and self-charging mild hybrid technology working seamlessly in combination with each other, an electric motor helps the petrol engine when it's under stress. Yeah, for example, accelerating or going up a hill, and then uses the energy created during deceleration to recharge its battery. Yep, in fact, this results in spirited performance with a broad torque curve and truly excellent economy, making even the longest drives impressively fuel efficient. With carbon dioxide emissions this low, this is also far better for the environment. What's more, it's standard. No matter which model you pick, mild hybrid is built in. No need to pay more for it. One of the other great advantages of our mild hybrid system is how compact and light it is. For example, the battery is so small it sits underneath the front passenger seat rather than in the bottom of the boot. This helps making Swift a lot lighter as well as enabling us to give a good balance for our cars for better handling and also stability. Indeed, the new Swift has a weight of just 949 kilograms in two-wheel drive form, meaning it's one of the lightest cars in its size. Combine this with the new dynamic settings that are designed to enhance driver feel while reducing noise and vibration coming into the cabin, and you have a car that is great to drive, whether threading through congested roads in town or making swift progress in the countryside. Like what I did there, Swift. You get it? Yet, while very light, the Swift structure is also very strong, further enhancing the car's safety credentials. Oh, and one thing I've missed is the boot. Now, given the size of the car, you'd expect a small boot, wouldn't you? But not in the new Swift. With 265 litres of space, the Swift is more than capable of coping with weekly shopping. But what really impresses me is that I can stand up my flight case, giving loads of space for other luggage. That's just perfect for my jet-setting lifestyle. And that seems to be my cue to leave.
Now, if you'd like to know more about the new Swift, then please contact your local Suzuki dealer. Thank you for letting me share just a few of our favourite things about the new Suzuki Swift.